All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mashoka Tensai episode 22. Uh, I just, last episode was insane. One of the most insane anime episodes I've watched in quite some time. Um, again, appreciate the support on that video, guys. Uh, obviously, we are very near the end now. This is the semi season finale, I believe, uh, which is wild. This season has flown by. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to end now, and uh, I'm going to get right into it today. So, as always, guys, I like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, it's just wine, bro. What the hell? What kind of dreamland is this, bro? What the fuck? Bro. This guy is actually going to fuck with Rudy. Like, he clearly has some kind of PTSD from this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, I just made a pawn. That was quite the defeat you guys just went through. You should tell him, Rudy. He deserves to know. It, is that something he didn't know, or...? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you guys have been making progress. That's what they've already been working towards, but... To hear it from a, a god. Oh, Louis Jared. I can't take a tough character like this crying, bro. It's helpful. It's really helpful to have a spell that nullifies magic. I think you, if you ever run into that dude again, it's going to be different circumstances. Is he home? Is he finally back home? He still doesn't know where his mom is. I'm afraid for her, man. She's the only one left that we don't know where she is. Oh no, and Sylvie as well. God, this place got wiped out by the manor explosion. It looks like a wasteland. Yeah, it used to look a lot better. Been a bit, a little bit more green, less grey clouds. Edis might have even more of a hard time when she gets back to her home. You guys, you can't break apart. You just need to keep traveling together. Who else do you have? But it's really been a long time for them. Even if it's like, it's been like, what, 10, 11 episodes for us of them properly traveling together. Oh, Louis Jared. I don't like this music. Oh no, I don't want this to be good to be goodbye. This isn't fair. Why can't you just stay together? Stay as a group. Oh <laughs> Rudy, I'm gonna cry. Come on, this can't be the end. Yeah, you better. Yeah, I goddamn hope so. I hope nothing happens. Is this just like a refugee camp? Or is this like Edis's kingdom? What is it? <gasps> Gile? Oh my god, thank god. Oh my god, it's been so long. Bro, yeah. They've been through some shit. They're basically family at this point. Fuck. So passed away. Some actually murdered. 
Damn. Really? What? Why was he held responsible? What the hell? Did they just want to blame someone? Wait, what? Hell no, what the fuck? Oh, I feel like Eris is gonna take this. Damn, she doesn't even want Rudy here. I just noticed, like, the patch on the back of his coat from where he got goddamn donutted. There's so many people missing. Is she dead? Or has she been found? Please. Oh, so she's here then, potentially. So she's actually just going to accept this? Oh, God. She did? <laughs> oh, Rudy. <laughs> I don't know if that's what she means. Oh, my God. It's finally happening, Rudius. Yeah, that's true. It's, he needs to still turn 15. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what it is. Yes, yes it would, Rudy. I mean... If she wants to do it, and you want to do it... Good. Good, Rudy. Oh my god. How is that something you teach to a daughter? Oh, Rudy. Don't lose yourself. How many how many years has it, have they been together, then? Has it been, like, what, three years? Two years? Feels like it's been so long. Look, they were so tiny, and look how big they are now. Well. That was sweet, at least. <laughs> look at this man. This man, Rudy, has changed in a goddamn night. Oh no, she's gone. What the fuck? That is her, my friend. Oh shit. Oh no, everybody's leaving. With Gilane? Oh no. Bro, it feels like everything's falling apart. You need to find Sylphie, my friend. Man, he's all alone. Bro. I'm not okay after that episode. Like, them all getting all the way back to, you know, Rudy's homeland, where his home, home is, and, you know, this refugee camp and everything. First, saying goodbye to Rouge was which was hard enough. And then getting home, we find Ghislaine, we find out that Sylphie's alive at least, but we just don't know where she is. But now, Eris leaves after such a kind of critical mo moment between her and Rudy, um, which I kind of wasn't sure about it happening at first, but if they've both, you know, come to the decision themselves and made that decision, then fair enough. But... Now Eris has gone off again with Ghislaine, clearly not wanting to do what you know what was right for her for the kingdom, which is fair enough. You know it's her decision, but like, it's now left Rudy all alone. Still can't find his mother. We'll likely find Sylphie soon, hopefully, but 
it's like his group, his family have gone now, and it's 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 not fair. I, very good kind of semi-finale episode. Looking forward to next week's episode to see what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.